So let's start talking about the string model. So the model parameters that you find will be on the left-hand side here. And we'll start by going up here to our presets and go to default. It'll reset everything to zero. On the left-hand side, it's got excite and click. And next to that, we have string. So it's sight and click. What's that all about? Well, excite has to do with how we're making the string make sound. Now on a clav, you had a hammer that was fretting a string against a piece of metal. Okay. So shape has to kind of do with the conditions of your hammers, along with brilliance. Okay. The more bright a Honer D6 is, the more brilliant it is, the newer the hammers are and the better shape they're in. If you pull this back to the left-hand side, it's going to be very dull. So here's very dull. And let's pull this to the right, and it'll be very bright. Now, the shape slider. Let's talk a little bit about the shape. Basically, the attack, or what's, you know, uh, exciting the string, we're going to shape the contour of the attack. Okay? You can hear a very subtle shift in how this is attacking the string. So these two settings right here basically emulate the hammer hitting the string and fretting the string. Below that, we have what's called click. This is what happens when it lets go of the string. When the hammer lets go of the string, there's a little click sound of the string resetting itself. So if I turn the intensity up, check it out. Hear that little click that happened when I let go? If I turn the intensity up, it'll be really loud. So that's basically the sound of the instrument resetting itself. The hammer comes up from the string. The string hits uh, some yarn, which kind of mutes it. But it's mostly the sound of the hammer pulling away from the string. Now, there were variations of, uh, of clavinets that will fret the string in different ways. You know, some of them used little bars that it was using suction cups and pulling up on them. But on the D6, what was happening was you had a hammer coming down like the keys that you were pressing directly under them was a hammer and the hammer was fretting a note so when you let go it just gave a little when you let go so randomness basically if we pull this up then the click won't happen on every key it'll be kind of spread out over the keyboard just like a real honer that's been well loved below that we have velocity and key on and key off so the way that this works with velocity the harder i hit it the louder it's going to be when i let go with key off, we're not even going to be able to hear the effect of the key off because my keyboard doesn't send key off data. It sends, it sends note off data, but key off data is different. Key off data has to do with the quickness that you let go of a key will actually send a 0 to 127 value. My keyboard doesn't do that. I guess some keyboards do. So I'll leave it on key on. That means that the click will be just as loud is how I hit the keys when I initially played the sound. So those are our initial model parameters, excite and click. Has to do with the hammer actually fretting the string inside of our clav. Next, we're going to be talking about the actual string model.